So you've rented a G3 lav kit from Stray Angel or you've bought one and uh, you want to know how to set it up. This little video is going to give you a quick little rundown of how to do that, but we will put a link to the official manual in the description if you need a little more detail. Um, so first things first, you will get a transmitter, a receiver, and a uh, XLR cable, and one for like a DSLR, and of course the microphone. First thing you're going to want to do, turn on your uh, transmitter and receiver, and you're just going to go ahead, hit the menu, which is under set, uh, and then go to um, advanced and hit reset. Do that on your transmitter and your receiver so that you know it's bone stock and you can um, be sure that they're going to be connected. If you're going to be using more than two sets of these, uh, you're going to want to put on like a piece of colored tape and write down what the frequency is. And you're going to need to change that frequency for one, or if you have multiple, all of um, your kits. And you do that the same way in the settings, advanced, um, go to tune, set, and then just change this number. It defaults to 518, um, change it to 519 even, not 520, whatever you wanna do. Just change it so that um, each pair is on the same frequency. So if let's say we're running two mics, have one of them set on 518, have the other one set on 520 uh, on both the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, once you've done that, on off brings you back to here. You can close that up. You pretty much don't have to go back in there unless you need to adjust the um, volume, which we'll get to in a second. So here you have your transmitter. You're just going to plug in your microphone. I have this preset up. It's just got this little um, bulldog clamp on here with the little windscreen, you just put that, if you're in a situation like we are now, where you're just, uh, I'm just talking to you and we don't need to hide the microphone, this works out just fine. Um, if you do need to hide it or something, your sound person should have, um, should be set up to do so. Make sure it's secure. Um, so you just plug that into the top of there, screw it in, this is good to go. Put that on your person or hide it or whatever you're doing. Your receiver, uh, will go into your camera and if you have a DSLR or something that doesn't have XLR inputs, you'll use the three quarter inch cable. Uh, if you have a maybe a nicer recorder or camera, um, you've got your XLR uh, connector there. Same thing, screw it on, plug it in. Usually, this just kind of works now. Um, but sometimes they don't, sometimes it's too quiet. Maybe the microphone's farther away from your talent than you know, right here, maybe it's too loud. Maybe you're experiencing some rustling or interference or something like that. The way that we recommend to diagnose those problems is to start at the top of the chain and work your way all the way back to the camera. So the microphone being the top of the chain. Is it um, under some clothes? Is that why you're getting rustling? Is it um, interfering with other microphones? You know, have you um, not changed the settings? Once you, once you figured out that it's not the mic, usually on these it's not necessarily the mic, it probably will be, um, in your transmitter. So maybe if it's too quiet, you can go into the menu. Once again, uh, it will not be under advanced. It will be under sensitivity. Just hit that and adjust as needed. Next to your display, there is an AF peak light and that will go off when um, you're peaking on your transmitter. Uh, once you get out of the menu, um, you will see a little levels thing off to the uh, left and that's going to be your first indication of whether or not you're transmitting correctly or not. So just uh, keep an eye on that. If that's sort of near the top and not peaking, you're probably good. Um, from there, you want to look at your receiver. Uh, how are the levels doing on the receiver? If they are not similar, you know, near the top but not peaking, same thing. Go in, change the sensitivity. Um, that is the called the AF out and not sensitivity. But it's the, that's the, the feature you're looking for. It's AF out. It does basically the same thing that you're doing on the transmitter. So as a recap, you start with your transmitter. That's the microphone. Make sure the levels are looking good on the little display here. Then you're going to make sure the levels are looking good on your receiver that goes into the camera. Uh, and those are affected by the AF out setting. Um, and then if necessary, you can adjust the levels on your camera, but technically you want that um, unadjusted. You want that at zero dB instead of, you know, a negative number or a positive number. 
Um, there are settings on certain recorders, certain cameras. They're all kind of different, but the three that you're going to see are mic, line, and phantom power. We'll get to phantom power in a second. A line signal, the recorder or the camera, is expecting the signal coming in to be at the appropriate levels, so it doesn't do any adjustments to uh, the signal there. A mic signal comes in quieter, uh, usually, and so, or always, and so the camera or recorder will boost that internally at a like known value. Um, phantom power is to power the microphone. So in this case, these lobs have batteries in them, so they are already powered. You do not want to send power to something powered. Best case scenario, it just will drain the battery on your camera or recorder. Worst case scenario, you can actually blow up the system. So you don't want to um, do that. Newer stuff tends to avoid that, but just if it doesn't have power, give it phantom power. If it does have uh, power, don't. Easy enough. Um, some cameras like the Alexa Mini only have a line in instead of a mic setting. Or, you know, maybe some, maybe your camera doesn't have any of those and you just don't, you're not sure. In that case, in the line in case or whatever's going on, adjust the AF out uh, until the levels are good. That's kind of the, the rule of thumb there. Um, the last thing you want to adjust is the gain on the camera because like I said, you want that at about zero dB. You can ride the levels uh, if something happens that you're not um, expecting. Maybe someone gets super loud or super quiet. Um, but that will then make louder or quieter any noise in the signal or anything like that. So that is, it's not, it's not a perfect solution, but it is something that you can do on the fly without having to, you know, pop the thing open and, and make your adjustments. So hopefully all of that was informative. This, uh, like I said, is just kind of a quick start video. So the um, link to the official manual is in the description if you need it. Um, but good luck on your shoot and we will see you next time.